Hi guys, I got a request um, about a month or so back, maybe more, from Miss 3 Bonaire to do an updated wash and go video. And I do have some products that I want to review for you today as well, so I thought I'd incorporate the two. A lot of people's definition of a wash and go is different. For me, a wash and go is raking or shingling product through wet hair and letting it dry naturally. For some of us, if we have looser textures, that process could be done in five minutes in the shower. And for some of us with kinkier textures, it might take half an hour to an hour. But despite the despite the length of time, the process of applying product to wet hair and letting it dry, I think, is my definition of a wash and go. I don't do them often at all. I've done three in the last two years, I think. The first one was my most successful. It was, um, I layered Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel on top of a washout conditioner by Suave Naturals and it came out really, really beautiful. The second wash and go I did was with Kinky Curly, which was a bust for me. The product doesn't work in my hair and um, I didn't like the way it felt either. The most recent wash, wash and go I did even though it was quite a while ago, it was using brown uh, protein gel uh, on top of a regular leave-in conditioner and it really did a good job of clumping my hair together. But I'll show you a picture of it. To me, the shape of my hair looked ridiculous. To me, I'd rather have a short afro than a long mullet. So, as you know, I did chop off a few inches. I took off about three inches in the back. And so, I'm hoping that with this wash and go, the shape looks a lot better than it did last time. And I actually got some products from a friend of mine. She's over at the iheartmyhair.com blog. And she's a fellow Canadian naturalista. And um, I received some products from a company called Des Design Essentials. And the first thing I noticed about the product is that it specifically says for natural hair. So first thing I want to review is the natural curl cleanser. It's sulfate free. All of their products are actually petroleum free, mineral oil free, paraffin free, silicone free, and paraben free. And it says it will cleanse the hair and scalp while adding moisture. It's really runny. So really liquidy. It smells like shampoo, but it smells a little bit fruity, like a slight citrus scent, which is nice. So let's go test it out. Okay, first things first, look how much suds there is. This is the result of only one handful. I squirted it into the palm of my hands. It's an amazing sud for so little shampoo that I actually I rinsed put the in. shampoo out and I did do a second wash. It feels clean, uh, feels soft, and doesn't feel stripped. And my hair still has like uh, some bounce or elasticity to it, so I guess it did actually moisturize. And um, overall, it's a good shampoo. I like it. So on to the moisturizing conditioner. This one has rosehip oil and coconut milk. This one says that it's an emollient rich moisturizer conditioner that softens, detangles, and nourishes the hair with rosehip oil and coconut milk. It says apply the conditioner to towel blotted hair and comb through for even distribution. Allow to sit for up to three minutes. This one also has a faint smell more florally than the shampoo and very thick consistency so one section detangled um, this product, it doesn't have as much slip as a traditional, I guess, sulfate conditioner. 
So to me it feels a little bit harder to distribute, meaning you use more product, because I did feel like I used quite a bit for this one section here. So I followed the directions of the conditioner. I finished smoothing it through my entire head and detangling it. I left it on for three minutes and then rinsed it out. So it does feel moisturized. However, I would not buy the product. I ended up using half the bottle and I ended up ditching the squeeze top and just sort of slinging it out because I was starting to get hand cramps. It's too thick for this squeeze top bottle, like you're gonna give us carpal tunnel with this packaging. Next is the leave-in daily moisturizing lotion with jojoba. Conditions and moisturizes as it revitalizes dry curls and waves, reducing frizz and defining curls and waves. Apply generously to clean damp hair, comb or finger style as desired. So it has the same sort of lightly citrusy scent. It's nice and creamy. It feels sticky, almost like honey. My hair is starting to feel hard. I mean, my hair actually loves protein, but I typically use a deep conditioner with protein in it. I don't know if this is protein overload or not, because the shampoo has protein in it, the conditioner has protein in it, and the leave-in has protein in it. And typically I don't double up or triple up on my protein products. So even though most hair care lines are designed for their products to all work together, in this case I would split these products up. I wouldn't use them together again. Okay, so I guess the final step is the styler. I actually received two. One is a curl stretching cream and one is a defining cream gel. And I read them both side to side. And they seem to be pretty similar in what they promise to do. The main difference is with the curl defining gel, it says that it defines and separates curls of highly textured hair, creating beautiful frizz controlled curls. And the curl stretching cream says that it smooths and conditions highly textured hair while adding weight, creating beautiful frizz controlled curls. So this one sounds more like it's designed to define curly hair and this one sounds like it's designed to weigh down kinky hair and give it the appearance of curls or elongated kinks so this one sounds like it's more for my texture so I'm gonna try this one so I'll revisit this later and this product does not have protein finally it says, apply generously to clean damp hair from root to ends using sections. Comb, twist, or finger style as desired. Then air dry, diffuse, or sit under a hood dryer. It smells kind of like Play-Doh. And it's a, a thick cream. The honey feeling that I was mentioning that the leave-in conditioner left in my hair, it's still there. It has that sort of tacky, tacky hold or sticky hold. You know, it's not giving me a curly look really, but that's because my hair doesn't really look naturally curly, but it is clumping the hair together, which I do like that look. But I can tell you already that the shape of my hair compared to my last wash and go looks way better. So I'm finally done. I applied it all over my hair from root to tip and smoothing it through in big chunks. So it does do what it says so far. It does give your hair weight. So you can see that um, my hair, it's, it's actually lying down instead of up and poofy. So it does definitely give some weight to your hair and um, gives you the 
well it gives me a really PC look by clumping my yeah, my hair together in pieces all done um, well it's still damp but I just want to show you what it looks like so far you can still see the product um, in some spots where it's damp this side is more dry so you can see that the white is starting to disappear so it looks like it will actually dry clear which is good it doesn't feel hard or crunchy like how you would normally get that feeling with gel for this type of look it's still soft and pliable and movable so it just basically gives your hair weight so it's not going to create anything that's not already there but it's going to give you some weight yeah i guess that's it i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching peace